kitchen and today I'm gonna to make something that I made a couple weeks ago but I'm gonna make it new and improved so what am I making today we're gonna to make some strawberry lemonade concentrate but we're gonna add a secret ingredient we're gonna add watermelon so we're gonna have watermelon strawberry lemonade concentrate we're gonna make all of this and we're gonna can it when I made my strawberry lemonade concentrate it was a big hit in my family and I realized that one pint of the concentrate actually makes another three pints instead of just one on one I had said in my previous video that you take one pint of concentrate and one pint of water that was way too strong you actually can take one pint of the concentrate and two pints of the water and even three pints of the water and it is amazing so it goes a long way all over the internet and I found watermelon lemonade concentrate but I did not find any that had strawberries as well so I'm going to change this recipe just a little bit the recipe I'm going to be using is Tessie's watermelon strawberry lemonade because it doesn't seem to be anywhere else online what we're going to do is have six cups of parade watermelon and six cups of parade strawberries eight cups of lemon juice and 12 cups of sugar now that is a lot of sugar but I want to remind you this is a very strong concentrate so even though it's very sweet you're going to dilute it very much and the sugar content won't be near as high so I'm gonna pan the camera down and we're gonna get started so let's get started this is a real fun recipe it's a recipe that children enjoy as well what we're going to do is we're going to add our 8 cups of lemon juice. And now all we have to do is we have to puree our 6 cups of watermelon and our 6 cups of strawberries. A little more watermelon then it's going to probably be the 6 cups. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to measure it. So we're going to take our watermelon and we're just going to put it in our food processor. And as we process it, then we're going to put it in with our lemon juice. So I'm going to go ahead and process all of this watermelon. And then we're going to work on our strawberries next. We're going to work on the strawberries. So this is the strawberries that we have. Now I bought these frozen. They were 99 cents for a pound at the discount grocery store. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to puree another six cups of the strawberries. So I'm going to go ahead, put them in my food processor, and we're going to process these as well. So when we have everything pureed, I'm going to come back and I'll show you what it looks like. And then we're going to add the sugar. We're going to heat it on the stove until it's good and hot, not boiling. And all we do is we put it in our jars and we can it for 20 minutes. A simple recipe, a simple procedure, and it's going to be so good in the dead of the winter. So I'll get right back to you. We have all of our watermelon, our lemon, and our strawberries parade. We're going to add our sugar and then we're going to put it on the stove and put it until it's really good and hot. So we're going to add 12 cups of sugar, which I'm using a half a cup, so it's going to be 24 half cups for me. I'll get back to you when we're done with adding all of the sugar. Dissolved the sugar and our lemon juice and our watermelon and our strawberries. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start filling up our jars. It's that easy. So one pint of this concentrate is going to give you an extra two pints of water. So it's a ratio of one to two or one to three if you so desire. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to fill it up to about at the neckline. I'm going to finish pouring everything and then I'll show you how much this made. So my recipe gave 23 pints. Each one of these will give you anywhere from a half to three-fourths of a gallon of the juice. So we're going to go ahead we have my canner going here. This is the Ball Fresh Tech canner, which I really like. It is an electric canner, 
but it keeps the water boiling. It boils it so much faster than I would have on my propane stove, and it makes it so much easier. Also, it has a spout on the other end of it, so all the boiling water, I can use that to wash my dishes. So we have these 23 pints. As soon as our water boils, we're going to put them in the water. We're going to boil it in water for about 15 to 20 minutes. We want to make sure it's really good and hot that it seals correctly. And I'll get back to you when the project is totally finished. But can you imagine some homemade watermelon strawberry lemonade in the middle of the winter? Sounds like a winner to me. Well everyone, it's all finished. Now we're going to open one of these up and we're going to make something real special treat with it. So, let's get started on another project. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Also, I wanted to share with you that this recipe is great for freezing. Also makes amazing popsicles, so you don't have to can it. Here is my recipe once again for anyone who wants to write it down. It is Tessie's Watermelon Strawberry Lemonade Concentrate. Six cups of Parade Watermelon. Six cups of Parade Strawberries. Eight cups of Fresh Lemon Juice. Twelve cups of Sugar. Heat that until really hot but not boiling. You can place it in your jars or you can put it in freezer containers. If canning it, you can it for 20 minutes in a boiling water bath. 